It'll be the first weekend of blockbusters on the silver screen from quite a while, but it's been a tough road for small and big movie theaters. Senior reporter Jake Wyskowski explains why one is taking the financial hit for safety. Theaters around the metro are making changes to get ready to reopen. This is AMC's plans from their website. Many new precautions are being taken to make sure people can enjoy a movie safely without a high risk for the COVID spread, but not all are ready. I don't see uh, a way to reopen safely. Barry Ashley, the owner of the Blair 3 Theater, says they've been closed since March 17th. As much as he wants to, he says he's being extra cautious and wants to see how the school openings go before lighting up the silver screen. Yeah, I'm terrified. I'm absolutely terrified that I won't be able to reopen, but I, uh, right now that's my goal is I'm going to try and do everything I can to get this place back open. Here's a look at what's happening. Most large metro area theaters are set to open tomorrow, Friday or next week, but each place has their own date. For smaller theaters, they're also targeting this weekend. Blair 3 Theaters is hoping to show movies in October. Ashley says they got a small PPP loan, which they appreciate, but it doesn't address all their needs. It's hurt the theater and the purveyors and suppliers they deal with. Ashley wants people to go to SaveYourCinema.com to let their elected representatives know that theaters need help. He also wants people to take it serious and be safe. If everybody would mask up and, and take all of the guidelines seriously, we would be able to reopen and everybody could reopen safely. Reporting in Blair, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. It's estimated the movie theater industry lost billions of dollars across the country from the pandemic.